Hello. In this video, we are going to solve a question involving speed. This is practice now 11, question number 3 of new syllabus mathematics. The question reads, a car and a bus are traveling towards each other. They are 510 kilometers apart at 1320 and they pass each other at 1620. If the car is traveling at a speed of 90 km per hour, find the speed of the bus. Let's look at the scenario of this question using an animation. A bus and a car are traveling towards each other at 1320, that is 13 hours and 20 minutes. The distance between the bus and the car is 510 km. They continue their journey. And at 16.20, 16 hours and 20 minutes, both the bus and the car, they cross each other. They pass through, pass each other. It means that both the bus and the car have traveled some distance from the initial point. We need to find the speed of the bus when speed of the car is given to us. So there are two quantities, a bus and a car. So let's look at the information for the car first. For the car, they have given us the speed, which is 90 km per hour. The time which the car takes to move from one point to the other one is, can you guess? So they started observing at 1320, 13 hours and 20 minutes. And the bus and the car pass each other at 1620. So how much time has passed? How much time has elapsed? It is 3 hours. So the time taken by the car is 3 hours. Now that the speed and time is given, we can find the distance that the car has traveled. We know that distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Speed is 90 km per hour and time is 3 hours. When we simplify it, we get 270 km. Now, this means that the car has traveled a distance of 270 kilometers. Look at the question again. The car and the bus were 510 kilometers apart. And now out of those 510 kilometers, the car has traveled a distance of 270 kilometers. So can you figure out how much is the distance which has been covered by the bus? I know you sure can. So let's look at the scenario again. The bus and the car are traveling towards each other. At 13.20, they are 510 kilometers apart. And at 16.20, the car has traveled 270 kilometers and they reach a point where they both pass each other. So the car has traveled 270 kilometers. How much has the bus covered? Definitely 510 minus 270 kilometers. So now let's look at the details for the bus. Mm -hmm. We can see that the bus has traveled a distance of 510 minus 270 kilometers, which is 240 kilometers. Mm -hmm. The time taken by the bus is the same as taken by the car, which is 3 hours. Now we have distance and time and we can find the speed. We know speed is equal to distance divided by time. Substitute the values of distance and time. And voila, we got the speed, which is 80 kilometers per hour, and which was what we were required to find. So the speed of the bus is 80 kilometers per hour. I hope you have understood this question. If you have any query, do comment in the comment section. Happy learning!